Uh, well, uh, nice to nice to be here. My name is Efraín Castellanos. I'm a certified instructor for Microsoft Technologies, and uh, well, I've been an instructor now for around three years with Microsoft. But of course, uh, I've been an instructor for for longer than that. Uh, I started teaching uh, languages first. Uh, that was the first uh, teaching experience that I had while I was studying college. Once I graduated, I started taking my own certifications. I gathered experience on hands-on job, and then I became a, an instructor. It was amazing, to be honest. Uh, at first, when they offered me to be an instructor, I wasn't so certain because I think it's a big responsibility to uh, share your knowledge with other uh, people. It's an honor, but also it's responsibility because you have to keep up to date all the time. You have to keep studying. It's like the, the winners of a race, right? You only see them when they, when they win the race, but you don't see all the training that they had previous to that. So sharing that uh, knowledge, it's a, it's a big responsibility and you have to keep up as well so you can keep sharing your knowledge. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, the fact that the train the trainings are divided basically into two parts. Once you have the content, on the first one you have the content where you share uh, what the tools do and and certain topics like what is required for that tool to work, and the other part where you actually have hands on labs in this case with Skillable, where they actually practice and do it themselves that's really really helpful because that way when once they go to their uh, work environment they already know how to do it they don't have to practice there on their work environment and create something that may cause an issue on the on the actual environment so the fact that they have this opportunity to practice before that and to test whatever options they have i mean they have they can uh, once they finish with the instructions of the lab they can use the environment to practice their own policies their own uh the creation of tools so it's really really helpful so that once they go to to the work they already know how to do it. yes do it do it do it do it i mean investing on learning is is one of the best things that that you could do not just for a person but for an organization the more prepared is your people the better results you will get you will get more results. You will get. You will be ready for also a contingency if there's an, an, any situation that happens. I don't know. Like in this case, a pandemic. If you already had people who knew about Teams, they could set up your environment so you can uh, remote, work remotely, right? So investing on knowledge, it's always something that is going to give back. yeah use it use it and uh practice the labs before giving a training so that you can guide properly the students and also uh there's a function there that is really useful like uh, the uh, it, 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 where you can review the labs of your students so you can remote and help them and guide them so the advice would be first practice the labs before you actually give a training so you get familiar with the environment and with the steps that you're going to be making and secondly, uh, keep uh, keep keep on uh, checking your students' labs one once they're working on them. Well, there are so many. I mean, me uh, me as an instructor, sometimes I do not have the capabilities of creating an environment for the users to actually practice certain things. Like, for instance, when, when I'm uh, teaching a, a student how to configure uh, an on-prem server to connect with, an, with, a, with a cloud server, uh, it could be difficult for me to actually buy a, an on-prem server so that I can show the steps on how to do it. But with the labs on Scalable, you actually have the opportunity to do that. Even though it's virtual, you can actually remote and get a connection with uh, Azure Active Directory, synchronizing with uh, on -prem, uh, the on-prem domain uh, services. Also, the functionality of you being capable of remoting to the lab environment of the students. 
that is super useful because sometimes they ask you questions or they have an issue uh, during the lab. And if you're not capable to actually look at what they're looking at, you're not going to be able to help them. So being able to remote and show them the steps or look at what where they are so that you can solve it or guide them, that's super awesome on your platform. Uh, well, I would just say to the trainers, uh, <laughs> keep training, <laughs> yeah. sharing your knowledge. I mean, it's really, really gratifying when you're sharing your knowledge and you have students telling you, I just got my certification or thank you so much. It was a great training. So it's really, really amazing. Like I said, at the beginning, at first, when they offered me the job, I wasn't sure I wanted to do it, but after I started, uh, the third lesson that I gave, it was so amazing that I don't want to stop ever doing it. 